Hi, did you know that Apis has more than 20 ways to display cluster charts? And that's not even counting templates and custom settings. Today you'll learn how to use them from setup to applying them in trading. Stay with us and create your own favorites list of footprint charts. In this menu, you'll find four display groups, basic volume modes, total trades modes, bid ask, modes for analyzing buys and sells in clusters. Let's figure out how to read them and use them in trading. Let's start with the classic, the volume mode. There are different ways to display volumes. ATAS offers several ways to calculate these proportions. The simplest mode is the bar. Here, each candlestick lives its own life. The proportions are calculated only within it. What happened with historical data on neighboring candlesticks or earlier doesn't matter. If you need to expand the range and see volumes in contrast with historical data, you can set the visible region mode. All the candlesticks you see on the chart will be taken into account when calculating the proportions. The largest cluster value will be the brightest on the screen. And when you shift the chart into the past, the values will be recalculated and redrawn. If you need to take into account the entire history loaded on the chart, you can select the whole chart mode. The first mode is volume or total volume. It shows the total volume of all trades at each price level within the candlestick. Do you see the gradient? The more contracts traded at a price, the brighter the sell. Bright zones indicate high interest from market participants, while dim ones show empty areas with low activity. In the settings, you can change the colors of the clusters and the background. If you want to highlight large volumes more vividly, turn on the heat map mode. It will highlight them like a heat map. Also, in each candlestick, the brightest level is the price with the maximum volume. This mode helps to identify volume accumulation levels. They often act as support or resistance. This makes it easier to find liquidity zones and levels where major players are positioned. Imagine a situation where the price approaches a level with high volume. It's clear that many participants have opened positions at this level and will defend it. Such a level often acts as a magnet for the price or a bounce zone. Next is delta colored volume. This is the same volume, but with color indication. Who is dominating? Buyers are green, sellers are red. Delta is the volume of buys minus the volume of sells. Green means buyers dominate, red means sellers. Neutral balance. This mode gives you an understanding of the market sentiment at each level and helps to identify traps or confirm the strength of movements. Large volume, but sellers dominate, there could be a reversal downward. When breaking through an important level, pay attention to the color. If the breakout is upward with green clusters and high volume, that's a quick confirmation of buyer strength. If the clusters are red, a false breakout is possible. Now, the volume histogram. Here, the volumes are displayed as horizontal bars. The length of each bar is proportional to the volume at that level. This is a more visual representation compared to simple volume. In this mode, you can quickly assess the distribution of volumes, easily spot peaks, and determine the value area, the fair price zone. Prices are indicated by the clustering of high volume levels. When analyzing a sideways market, the histogram shows where the main battle is taking place. The longest bar usually indicates the point of control, the level of maximum agreement on the fair price. The volume digital histogram combines the histogram with an exact numerical value, bars plus numbers, where the color intensity depends on the volume. It's the perfect combination for analysis. You can assess what share of the total candle's volume occurred at this level. If it's 40% or higher, the level is strong. Delta color from the volume histogram. A histogram divided into buys and sells. Visually, the volumes are separated by color and show the balance of power between buyers and sellers. This mode will show you where buyers or sellers prevailed and how to identify capitulation zones. When bouncing off support, you can see long green bars. Buyers are defending the level. If the bars are red, but the price isn't falling, the selling is being absorbed by a large player. Volume versus trade, a combined mode that takes into account both volume and the number of trades. This is suitable for traders who need to see the maximum amount of detail in the moment. This way, you can distinguish a single large order from many small ones. This mode is ideal for spotting institutional players. Lots of small orders mean retail traders. Large volume in a few trades means institutions. You can literally assess the quality of the volume. For comfortable analysis, it's better to use lower time frames, like for scalping. Otherwise, the number of trades will complicate visual analysis. Those aren't all the modes involving the number of trades. 
We'll look at the trades tab later, but now let's move on to the best seller, the bid ask mode. Here you can see the numerical values of buyer volumes, asks, and seller volumes, bids. Nothing extra, just the battle between market participants in real time. Bid ask delta color shows the bid and ask volumes with a color coded delta. Ask, buy, volumes are green on the right, bid, sell, volumes are red on the left. As you can see in the example, there are few bids and many asks. A buying imbalance. The price should rise under the pressure of the aggressor. If the price doesn't rise, it means you found a level where limit sellers are absorbing the buys. Someone in the order book is executing a large position. Bid ask delta color highlights only the winning side in the block, which greatly simplifies analysis. Here's a small example. Look at the price pause and the upward surge. The surge is supported by aggressive buyers with a significant advantage. The price is being supported, and the reversal may continue to develop. The bid and ask volume histogram in the columns has a slight improvement. You can see the numerical values. The columns point in different directions. It's a perfect illustration of the balance between supply and demand. Now you not only see the winner, but you can also assess their strength. With this type of footprint, it's convenient to track pushing patterns when the trading balance was concentrated in one part of the candle, but eventually shifted to one side. Visually, it looks like a thin profile with a balance bubble at the top. When candles look like barrels, evenly distributing the entire volume, it indicates there is no strong bias to either side. Bid Ask Volume Profile shows the distribution of volume and, at the same time, the actions of the aggressive side. Let's look for zones of dominance and maximum imbalance. We can see that after a decline, during which trading occurred at average or low volumes, the struggle intensifies. This slows down the market, and at the same time, we see an imbalance on the buyer's side. The buyer's attempts end in success. The candles close above the buyer's clusters. The upward movement continues to develop. This is a sign of hidden seller weakness, which leads to the next upward impulse bid ask delta profile or order delta profile. Here, the profile is built based on delta data. By looking at the deviation from the axis, you can quickly identify zones of strong imbalance. You can see a negative imbalance at the bottom of the two candles after the decline, but the price is holding. This means absorption is taking place and there is growth potential. Such levels often become good supports in the market, from which the price typically bounces after a test. Here is a potential entry point. Now, let's take a closer look and dive into advanced delta variations. A quick reminder, delta is the net difference between aggressive ask buys and bid sells. A positive delta means buyers are dominating, a negative one means sellers are. And you can see this at every level. This mode will help you spot impulses, divergences, and confirm the strength of a move. Pay attention to the synchronization between price movement and delta, price rising along with increasing delta. This is a signal of a harmonious and confident move. Initiative traders are coming out on top. An extremely positive delta at the end of a rally signals an approaching end to the trend. For selling, it's the mirror image. An extreme negative delta during a decline hints at the end of the downward move. Volume and Delta in this mode, delta indicators are read by color, while the rest is volume. If you want to see everything in detail, pay attention to the numbers. This way, you'll be able to spot imbalances supported by volume. If a delta imbalance isn't accompanied by volume, it's likely caused by stop losses accelerating the market due to a lack of liquidity in the order book. Delta Profile a profile based on delta easily identifies aggressive participants and highlights areas without a clear advantage for either side. Blocks of price levels with an imbalance. Deltas indicate important local levels that should definitely be taken into account. Testing these specific zones can often become your entry point with minimal risk involved, and breakouts of such zones add even more strength to the price movement. It's also convenient to track specific nodes with large delta within ranges, where one side is trying to hold the level. And now, the last display mode before we analyze trading situations are trades. Trades shows the number of individual trades at a level, regardless of volume. That is, unlike the volume mode, a single trade of 100 contracts counts as one in trades. The focus is on activity, not size. This mode is better for identifying levels of maximum activity and zones of interest. Here we see a much larger number of trades. Even if there weren't any large trades, the trading activity itself indicates increased interest in the level. 
Frequency indicates the importance of a level for entry or exit. Often, such clusters may be tested by one of the next few candles, and if the test is successful, we get a short-term reversal. Delta-colored trades shows the number of trades separated by direction. Green means aggressive buys at the ask. Red means sells at the bid. It shows who? The initiator. It helps assess the aggressiveness of participants and panic buying or selling that occurs during stop losses. When resistance is broken, it's easy to find confirmation of its strength if you see a lot of aggressive buying. It's important to see the price consolidate above the cluster to be sure of the buyer's intentions. Another situation is a small number of trades but with a significant dominance of the aggressive side. During a directional move, this indicates a lack of liquidity in the order book and an unwillingness to hold the price at these levels. The trades histogram shows the number of trades represented in columns, which also helps quickly assess activity. Here, we can see how trading activity rises several times within a small range, and ultimately, the price reverses the trend. Such a pattern indicates active accumulation and holding of the level. The trades digital histogram adds numbers to the visualization. Accurate counting for statistics is suitable for traders who love the world of numbers, and everyone tries to count, add, divide, find the average, and so on. Delta colored trades histogram. A histogram with separation of aggressive buys and sells allows you to visually assess dominance. After the drop, we see an increase in the number of trades at this price level which is accompanied by a significant predominance of buyers, and eventually it reverses the price. It is also definitely worth paying close attention to breakouts of important levels that occur without high trading intensity, as these often end in failure for the side attempting the breakout. Let's also take a look at some typical setups and patterns that can be found by using different modes. Setup one is absorption, large volume, negative delta, but the price does not fall. Modes, delta colored volume, bid ask, delta profile, enter long in the direction of the absorption. Setup two is climax, a volume spike with an extreme delta. Modes, volume versus delta, delta colored trades. We expect a pullback. Setup three, false breakout, a breakout with low volume or opposite delta. Modes, volume, delta colored. Trade the return move. Common mistakes. Mistake one, using only volume without delta. Large volume can be distribution. Solution, always check the direction. Mistake two, overcomplicating. In other words, information overload. For example, the solution is to use only two to three modalities for a single strategy. Mistake three, not using context because clusters are a tactic. Solution. First determine the trend or range and only then use clusters. We have covered 20 modes, volume, trades, bid ask, delta. Each of them is a tool for a specific task. Success lies in choosing the right tool by defining the task for the situation. Subscribe and leave a like. Write comments about which mode interests you. Share with colleagues and in the next videos, advanced strategies. See you next time.